Okay, today we come to the pinnacle, the gold standard of sparkling water. When most people think of sparkling water, they think of La Croix or La Croix. I don't know. How do you pronounce it? Um, what can be said, you know? I mean, I feel like La Croix kind of kicked it all off, made sparkling water popular. This is the first non-slim wine can we will review. Um, though interestingly enough, I was on the treadmill at the gym yesterday, and slim wine cans are apparently going to be on an uptick. You know, apparently people like them, so that's great. It's probably also great for the manufacturers because they can give people less of their product for more money. So this is the pure flavor. Um, I like, you know, I like the color scheme of this can. It's very oceanic. Makes me, you know, I can hear the waves just looking at it. Makes me feel like I'm on a beach resort in Fiji or something. Um, differences between the prior to, you know, Perrier and Pellegrino. This on the can, you know, they're really pushing the whole like health thing. Like, why should you drink this instead of, you know, a uh, tab or something, a Royal Crown Cola? Because it has zero calories, zero sweeteners, zero sodium. So it is 100% innocent. No charges against LaCroix. Um, it is also Whole30 approved. Another difference is it doesn't tell you how much calcium is in there. So, you know, if you've got thin, brittle bones that break every time you go to a Pilates class, you might be safer drinking Pellegrino or Perrier. So... Let's see what else. This is 12 fluid ounces. Um, I bought this at Target as well. It came in an eight pack for $4.19. So you're getting a considerably better deal than you are with the more artisanal varieties like Pellegrino or Perrier. Um, let, let's drink it. Let's see what it's all about. On the nose, very fresh, very clean, very crisp. You know, it doesn't have any of that strange well water phenomena that Perrier has, so we're already off to a good start. Oh. <clears throat> the, uh, the bubbles here, they're the sharpest bubbles yet. I mean, these are like, these are, it's like drinking razor wire. That's how sharp the bubbles are. Um, there's lots of them. Uh, they're smaller, but, you know, their edges, their sharpness definitely make up for the size of bubble. Um, you know, I really got to say, I think this is the gold standard right here for American sparkling water. Uh, I've never seen LaCroix in bottles, so I don't think it comes in bottles. So, uh, you know... You don't have to worry about your phthalate intake or anything, I guess. Yeah, man. The other thing is, like, the uh, bubbles, it's like they evenly disperse and fill your mouth. It's just, it's just a really elevated experience. You know, I don't think enough people drink the pure flavor. Uh... I, spoiler alert, I mean, I will review flavors of sparkling water. Don't you worry. If you're like wondering what beach plum is like, you're going to find out. But uh, I think pure is the best. Just regular, unadulterated, unfettered, unbesmirched, plain old sparkling water. I also will say, you know, a little bit of bro science, but um, I have a sensitive tummy. You know, I'm a sensitive individual, very empathic. Uh, so, you know, I get stomach aches easily from things or indigestion. And what I have found is that the unflavored sparkling waters give me the least indigestion. So that's why I drink them mostly. You know, I like, you know, cranberry, razzmatazz and all the other goofy stuff that you see at the store. But for day to day, here is where it's at. Um...
there's almost like a hint of berry or something in the background on this. It's just so clean and so fresh. Yeah. I think, you know, initially, so I live in Wisconsin currently. And there's a town in Wisconsin called La Crosse. And I always thought that LaCroix was from Wisconsin and the whole LaCroix was a play on words with lacrosse, but apparently that's not true because it's distributed by Hayward, California. So whatever, you know, could be a fun old wives tale to tell people when you're drinking your LaCroix. Yeah, <clears throat> I'll tell you this, if you're at the store and you're like on the fence about what to do with your life, get yourself a case of pure LaCroix. It, it, nothing bad will come from it. Um, yeah, nothing bad will come from it. Unless you're like allergic to carbon dioxide. So, um or water, I don't know, if you have aquagenic urticaria or something, maybe you should take a Benadryl first, but, uh, yeah, drinking this, gonna go to the gym shortly to, uh, you know, do a leg day, which I hate, but, uh, apparently it's good for you, so I'm gonna do that, um, also, you know, I'm not trying to look like a popsicle, you know, where, like, the upper half of your body is, like, you know, all filled out and juicy, and then the bottom half of your body is a stick. Uh, and then I'll probably sauna after that. So, yeah, as always, LaCroix, cheers. Um, yeah, drink it while it's cold. Hope you have a good Sunday.